no, so no what? normally I would unbox this thing on camera, but I already did that and then I accidentally deleted the footage. So there's the box. Here's the important info on the box. Oh look, there's some more. Here's the manual, also a charge cable. Aside from charging this thing, the only other thing I had to do to get it ready was attach this to that. There's only one button on this thing. Turn it on outside of the water. Once that's over, it's ready to be put in. Maybe it'll have a better landing if I help it out a bit. Well, it wasn't so pretty. The pool was filthy. Here's attempt one. Attempt two. The pool's a little cleaner now. Back to attempt one, though. Look at that water. It's filthy. It took me a while to get the pool looking better. So by the second time, it looked like this. And I actually did capture some pretty good footage of how the vacuum navigates. So it doesn't slam into a wall. It works best if you have like a 90 degree corner pull. It detects a wall, then it turns around and whooshes off. And here's attempt three. The water is finally nice and clear. However, here we are back at attempt number two. I ran it twice. Each time the battery lasted about 90 minutes before the vacuum parked itself on the side and stopped. And now we return to the final vacuum. This is the third time that I ran it. And the crazy thing about this is the battery lasted two and a half hours. Like it got dark while I was filming this. And you'll see it's about to happen. Here it goes. <laughs> two and a half hours. How? A miracle. That's how? Because my camera battery, it didn't last that long. I had to switch it out. So anyways, here's the before and after. So the vacuum does have sonar technology. It detects walls, but it didn't go in this pattern that they're showing on their site. Maybe it's the shape of my walls. They kind of curve up instead of end at a 90 degree angle. Here are the results of the final vacuuming. It got some big leaves that were floating around at the bottom. I really like this metal filter. That's something I haven't seen on a pull vac before. My least favorite part is cleaning this chassis or body of it. It's kind of annoying. And uh, it kind of dropped apart, so I stuck it back on there. But hey, at least it picked up after itself. So here's some GoPro time-lapse footage. After 90 minutes, it doesn't quite get my entire pool. After two and a half hours, it sure did. I like that it charges up really quickly, three hours. Other vacuums take a lot longer. So that's it. Check out the video's description for the link to this best robotic vacuum. Toodaloo-daloo-loo.